Okay, so we're getting started with scratch animation and we wanna be able to give our sprites a little bit of a dance twist. So we're gonna go ahead and pick a person and we're going to make that person have a twist to a beat. So we're going to go to events and we'll use when a letter is clicked. So we'll do D for dance. So when D is clicked, we are going to play a sound. So when we go to our sound blocks here, it's uh, programmed with a pop sound. Um, if we want to go ahead and pick different sounds, we can go to the sound section and click on new sounds. And if we want to hear a human sound, we can go to vocals and we're going to use this human beatbox 2. And when we go back to scripts, it's going to be right there. And if we wanted to go ahead and find that other sound, we can just use that little arrow down and we could switch them. We're going to keep um, this human beatbox to sound. And we want to be able to make our character have a little bit of a, a twist here. So we're going to go to looks and we're going to go to set color effect by zero. We don't want it, the color effect to be changed. We want it to complete this action, which is whirl. We're going to set it to 50. And we're going to go to control because we want a little bit of a weight in between, we'll do about a quarter of a second. And we'll go back to looks and we want to set the whirl effect back to zero afterwards. And we're gonna want another weight block so we can just duplicate that and put all of these together. So when I go ahead and press D, you're going to see this character do a little bit of a twist. If I want him to keep twisting, I could go to control and use this repeat block. And I could repeat maybe about six times is about how long this beat lasts for. And he can, he'll keep um, completing the whirl action throughout the beat. So go ahead and pick a sprite and try a different effect other than color change and see what happens. and have that effect go along with a beat.